Good morning. Today I'm going to show you something. Uh, you know, I have a very radical political philosophy. I believe that the salvation of the world lies in the hands of the bread makers. I've been making bread for a number of years now, and it has been good for my soul. For one thing, it gets a person to slow down. It takes about six hours to make a batch of bread. And the other thing is that it reconnects you to the basic substance of life. So, today we're going to learn how to make bread. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I've been making bread for a few years. I actually, I worked in a bakery uh, for a while, about six years. I didn't learn much about making bread then, though. Uh, I was the donut fryer. But I did learn a little bit. And then a number of years ago, uh, I learned this recipe from my father-in-law. And so between my father-in-law and the experience that I had in the bakery and merging the two, this is what uh, we have. So. You start with six cups of warm water. I just heated this up on the stove and now it's in the bowl. Can you see that, Kendra? And it's important to test the water with your finger. It needs to be warm, okay? Because if it's hot, it'll kill the yeast and the bread won't rise. So lukewarm is all you need. So you take six cups of warm water. You take one cup of brown sugar. And you put it in the warm water. Got it? And then first you stir up the brown sugar. Make sure that it's completely mixed in. Okay, and now, can, I, can you get a picture of me with the yeast here? You want to use two tablespoons of active dry yeast, bread yeast. Now I usually get this from the health food store because they sell it in the refrigerator and you know that it's still good. Sometimes when the yeast is on the shelf at the supermarket, it's been there for you know who knows how long and it's not necessarily that good. But, uh, but it'll work in a pinch. So. Uh, active dry yeast, two tablespoons. You want to get a picture of it closer? And you just kind of sprinkle it all over the top here like this. It should float on top. And then you stir it in. Make sure all the lumps are out. Okay, and you can kind of see how it's starting to form and how there's um, some foam that's starting to form on the top, some bubbles. And as the yeast and the sugar and the water react, those bubbles are going to become more numerous. It's actually the same process for making wine or beer or things like that. Um, <clears throat> and so now, we are going to let this sit for about 15 or 20 minutes and just kind of let the yeast and the sugar and the water work until there should be a foam, a nice bubbly foam on top. And that's the first step. 